Yeah, my name's Alan Gregory, and uh, from Newport Ritchie on the other coast. And uh, this is my 65 Econo line back asswards truck. Um, full chassis, 2x3 tubing. As you can tell, the body's been turned around on it. Uh, it's got a 502 Chevy in it, blown. Turbo 400, uh, Ford 9 inch rear. And uh, yeah, it goes backwards. <laughs> Did uh, all custom dash and seats and wheel tubs and got the wheelie bars on the back because she will come up in the front with all that torque that 502 has got. <laughs> and uh, my brother did the paint on it. Oh, uh, I think I've had it about 15 years now. Yeah, I've had it for a while. And uh, believe it or not, I had a guy come up to me today and I think it's sold. Yeah. So we'll see what happens during the week. Uh, I told him 50 and he thought it was a fair price. So he has a museum. So with any kind of luck, he'll buy it and it'll go into a museum with uh, all kinds of weird kind of trucks he said he has. Um, yeah. Good afternoon. My name's Rick Diaz with the Outlaw Garage. And what I've got here today is a 1968 Camaro. 496 cubic inches with a 1071 blower, fuel injected with a big and ugly. Full tube chassis car, fender well 5 inch exhaust, connected to a Linko 5 speed with a 12 inch dual disc clutch. We run a uh, 350 shot kit of nitrous and two 10 pound fire bottles for safety. And the rear end is a Dana 60 with a 355 gear. And the tires are uh, Mickey Thompson's 34 and a half by 17 and a half wide. So, okay, how fast will we go? Uh, it's certified 750s on the chassis, so we've yet to get it out testing. We're still running through some suspension uh, adjustments. How fast have you driven? Uh, about 140. Okay. But it goes from zero to, to there quickly. Quickly. <laughs> It'll get away from you. Yeah, it'll get away from you. Great looking car. Thank Great you. <laughs> so give us the big number. What would something like this cost? You're looking at uh, about one hundred fifty thousand dollars. One hundred fifty thousand dollars. What you're looking at is eight thousand dollars in just tires and rims. But that's nothing more than two Teslas. Yeah. That's it. That's well, it. It's just two Teslas. Big whoop. Ready to cash it? West Palm Beach. Go ahead now. I'm Melvin White from West Palm Beach, Florida. This is my 1997 Chevrolet Silverado, 540 Tall Deck Merlin, 871 Supercharger, right around a thousand horsepower. Um, 15 year build for me. Um, I built this truck from the ground up. Air ride, AC, power windows, 22 and a half inch wide tire. Um, it was my first truck as a kid, so I figured I'd make turn one into a street ride. Yeah, go ahead, crank it up. You're going to crank it up for it. How long you say it took you? 15 years? 15 years. years. Yep. Frame years. off. Yep. And about 20 bucks, huh? Yeah, about, about 20, 30 dollars. 20, 30 bucks. Hey, that's not a bad thing. There you go. We're on, what kind of gas we're running? Right? I run on super unleaded. It's super just treatable. Unleaded. I drive it on the highway. Nice. It's a, it's a daily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, my name's Kim Paparello. I'm from Winter Springs, Florida, aka Smurf. 
Uh, this is a 1971 Camaro. It's got a 565 uh, low weight block in it. It's got the uh, you know, 1471 on here with uh, yeah. big and ugly on top. It's a big M block. Tally's crank. Yeah. Uh, just a rocker. It's got the best of parts in it. Uh, a lot of fun. It's got the RC component wheels with the uh, top sports wheels on the front. Throughout the color is Ferrari yellow. And uh, I got a little bit of airbrushing on top here, and that's my first motor that I blew up. So uh, we paid homage to it on the hood. Uh, interior's all uh, done with uh, leather, a little bit of ostrich in there, uh, fabricated uh, dashboard with a uh, killed up shifter in it. So how does that shifter work? I mean, it's got like one for each gear? Yeah, what is one it for do? each gear, you have to shift the car. It's an annual, reverse manual transmission. It's an FTI transmission, good up 1,800 horsepower. And, um, of course, it's caged, certified for 85. Of course, you got to be able to stop, right? So you got a parachute on the back. you got a parachute on the back, aerospace brakes. Wheel yeah. bars when you pull those wheels. And you don't want to slip over, so you can use a wheel bar. Absolutely. Cars, uh, I've had this car for almost 15 years now. Cool. And, uh, basically built it from scratch. It's evolved over the years. And uh, this it is what it is today. Nice, man. So, uh, Thanks for bringing it out today. Let everybody see it. You're welcome. 1969 Nova SS. What's your name? Richard Tyler. Richard, okay. Um, you start talking, I'm just yeah, shooting. Yeah, sure. Big block Chevrolet. 860 cubic inch, uh, cobalt blue, double frame rail car, part of the outlaw garage group, great, great group. Uh, we run no prep in uh, Maryland outlaw with the car. been on TV in that outlaw group? No. No, that's that's a different outlaw group. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long you own the car in front? Uh roughly 21 years. Did you say that was at 806 years? Correct. That's a big Yes. You don't see many of them No. How many horsepower you running? 1750 at the rear wheel. 1750 horsepower. At the rear wheel. It doesn't look like it, but it's a beast. <laughs> That's a freaking beast. Hi, my name is Abel Garza, and this is my 1970 Baldwin Motion Tribute Pro Street. Now, why do they call it Pro Street? That's well, a good question. Well, it's got big old tires in the back. Uh -huh. It's tucked out. It's like an old pro car, but it's street legal. What makes it street legal? Everything still works. Blinkers, horns, brake lights. I know. Treaded tires. It's a 540 cubic inch with a 420 mega blower. Pushes about a thousand fifty horsepower. Thousand fifty horsepower. Runs on pump gas. The high test, I take it. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, 93 octane. What does something like this cost, man? By the time you get it from all the money, the whole car, everything, right at six figures. Ooh. You just like speed. I love it, man. I drag racing too. So. Oh, okay. Pops nice. Pops. You got a shoot on the back? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the back half was done by John Allegro at Allegro Racing out of Raymore, Missouri. Yeah, I'm Jim Grotha from North Carolina. 1969 Camaro. Got it in uh, 2013 and uh, been working on it for about three years and uh, built the engine. It's 548. It's got a 1071 blower on it. Running about 1,000 horsepower. Pump gas. It's a black cherry. He does 400 transmission. Uh, it's got a dark racing block.
automatic? Yeah, automatic. Get the oven. Are you part of the outlaw? Yeah. Yeah, part of the outlaw group down here in Orlando and uh, moved up there about a year and a half ago and uh, first time been back down here. Hi, I'm Lee Henson, 69 Blown Nova, uh, 496, 671, putting about 675 to the wheel, approximately about 1,100 foot pounds of torque. Hope y'all enjoy the channel, and if my son's watching, hi Colton, take care, bye. Cool.